Hey, it's Meher from Southview Acura. Today we're inside the service drive through bay taking a look at a 2013 Acura RDX. This all-wheel drive SUV is everything you're looking for in a pre-owned vehicle, and we're going to go over some of the features together. Starting at the front, we've got daytime running lamps, high-intensity discharge lighting, and fog lamps on the bottom. Come a little closer to get a good view of those. And towards the very bottom, there's your fog lights. Along the sides, we've got 18-inch Michelin all-season tires, and all four of those wheels have disc brake systems. I'm going to back up a little bit, give you an idea of what the vehicle looks like from the side. You've got a keyless entry system. Using the remote control, you can hit it once to unlock the driver door. Hitting it twice will unlock all four doors for passengers. Simply walk on up and open the door. Before we hop inside, take a quick look at those leather seats. There's a sunroof up there. And we're just going to take a look at the door handle itself. You've got power controls for your windows, adjustable mirrors, and up here is your seat. So we're going to hop inside, take a look at the features this vehicle has to offer, and then see what else we can help you out with. All right, so inside the vehicle, we're going to run accessory power mode for the remainder of this video. That means that you do see a couple warning lights on that dash, but don't worry, they disappear once you start the engine. I'm going to point out 82,000 kilometers on this 2013 unit. Right behind the steering wheels here, left and right has paddle shifters, volume up, volume down, and media controls on the left. Hands-free communication if you've got wired with Bluetooth, or actually wireless with Bluetooth. On the right-hand side, there's your cruise control and a series of buttons to control what you have displayed on that center screen. I'm trying to show you without a nasty glare. Towards the center here, oops, towards the center, you do have your backup camera. Once you shift into reverse, it will automatically display. Well, maybe you can't even see. You gotta take my word for it. The camera's good quality. I just can't pick it up with this uh, with this camera that I'm using. You can't see the actual images, but it is there. It's good quality. Once you shift into park or drive, you're gonna see this screen, and it's currently gonna display what you're listening to. I've got XM satellite radio displaying. Your media options include FM, AM, of course, satellite radio, as you saw, CD player, and auxiliary inputs, including a 3.5 millimeter and USB. If you're in Bluetooth as well, you can wirelessly stream content from your phone if your phone is equipped with that feature. This control knob selects between the different views, also controls that screen up there. And down here is your climate control, including dual zone climate. Driver and passenger can each have a different temperature, and they both sync at the push of one button to what the driver has set, also including your air conditioning right there. Media inputs and charger are located in that center console. Here's the shift knob. Oops, that was in drive. Let's put that into park. Heated seat button controls. Let's just open up the center console. There's really nothing exciting in there except a charger, but it's out of sight. It's good to have it there, but nothing really to show. Here's the user manuals. Pretty much all the paperwork is kept in here. We've got great records of all the service here at Southview Acura. Uh, that's there for you to review if you want. Now let's close that up, take a look at the back passenger comp compartment. All right, so your passengers back here are certainly not forgotten. I know it's a little difficult to see because of the lighting. It is quite dark. I'm trying to adjust the contrast, but it's not really working. As you can see on the far side, I do have your seats down. That shows the 40% of the 60-40 split. Towards the middle, you have a cup holder. Well, you really can't see anything. That's okay, I'll try to back up. And then on the door itself, controls for the window. We're just going to open up that rear hatch, take a look from another angle. Hopefully there's a little bit more light back there. And it's simple enough to get into the back. Underneath that logo, there's this button. There it is. Simple enough one-handed operation. The hatch opens right up. As you can see, that right-hand side is down. That's your 40% of the 60-40. The left-hand side is up. Easy enough with one hand to pull that down. You get a lot of additional room in case you do need it. I'm going to point out underneath here. Spare tire, your jack, your tools, pretty much everything you need to swap out that spare. Easy enough to close with one hand. And there you go. That's a quick overview of the 2013 RDX. If you have any additional questions, please call, click, or visit us today. We'll get in touch, take you on a test drive, and answer anything more you have to ask. Thanks for watching.